John Pesh has been guiding us, advising us, telling us to watch out for China. Well, my goodness, uh, Sean, if you had a crystal ball, uh, it certainly is one that you'd be wanting to consult continuously, given what happened in the last few weeks. There are a couple of issues, and maybe we start with the broader one. Uh, it, it appears now that those fears that, that you have articulated about China being a communist country and uh, really attacking the capitalists there has accelerated beyond what anybody anticipated. Alec, I think that's right. And I think, but I think, I do think in fairness to the Chinese government, you know, they have 1.4 billion people to look after. And so that has to take precedence and they need to make sure that those people are housed, employed, fed, um, et cetera. And, and so that is their primary concern. And it just means that foreign shareholders are way down the list. That's actually quite concerning. So you, what you're buying into when you buy shares in Hong Kong, on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange in these companies is not the company itself, but in a, a Cayman Islands entity, which uh, then has a contract with the company. And if the government of China were to say that it no longer uh, regards that contract as legal, which is what was being, has been suggested quite a lot, then where is your security? Well, no, there isn't any. And in fact, you can't even rely on corporate governance in, in the Cayman Islands because I think I'm right in saying, well, certainly up to a couple of years ago, Baidu had never held an gen annual general meeting. You know, I mean, it really is you just buying hope. So that's the worry. But I don't think, I mean, let's not get too, you know, scary about this because... That's a, it's, look, it's a risk. If, if I were one of these CEOs, I, and I'm sure they've had these discussions, I'd sit down with the, the Chinese government and I'd say, look, let's actually look at what's happening here. We've got a profitable, uh, we've got a profitable gaming company. We take those profits. We don't have to pay those foreign shareholders. We take those profits and we invest in startups. And those startups create jobs. And then what we do is we then go and list those startups overseas to all the gullible investors who, you know, think that there's a lot of growth and want to give us a lot of money. And, and essentially what's happening is the foreign investors are funding the losses in these Chinese companies, but it's creating employment for China. I mean, you look at something like Moitong, you know, that thing loses money. It's the largest food delivery business in the world. It's worth even now $270 billion or something, but it loses money. And, and now the government is saying, well, hang on, Moitong, you need to pay your drivers a minimum wage. And so who's funding those losses? Well, the foreign shareholders are funding the losses. So it's actually the foreign shareholders are funding jobs in China. So, you know, does China really want to let the music stop? Probably not. 